Did I just A make new shading hairbrush? Wow, your grammar gave me cancer. Okay, so let's see this. Hmm, interesting. So you're just piling the hair strands on top of each other? Hmm, this seems pretty good. Also, why the heck didn't you crop the ads? It takes five seconds. Anyway, let's try it out. So this is the brush. It's called Kazi, you see? Okay, that's pretty sus. All right, let's start with this Megzi bald head. First thing they do is they fill the head with a solid color. Okay, let's fill it up with the brown. Now I'm gonna import the brush. Let's just experiment with it a little bit. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so so far this looks like a rat's tail, but let's see how it goes. Let's just keep adding more and more. Okay, well, it's not that bad. It's better than being bald. Okay, so so far it looks mid. You know what? This wasn't in the TikTok, but I'm gonna shade it. Just shading it in spots where the hair lifts. For our final step, we do the juicy highlights. So let's put these random blobs and then we erase and make them sharp. Alright, what do y'all think? It's actually pretty good. I saved a lot of time. Can someone please make this brush and clip studio or on Procreate? Let me do the rest of the face real quick. Alright, look at that. Look at that masterpiece. 11 out of 10. I highly recommend the Kaziyasi brush. Next, juicy lips tutorial. Okay, you're drawing a heart. Oh wow, this is really fast paced. Do you have ADHD or something? Alright, now they're using a lasso tool and coloring. Interesting. Anyway, this is the final art. Ooh, very juicy lips. Let's look at the comments real quick. Better than Kooleen's tutorials. I can't hear you, Kooleen. Kooleen's crown be slipping. Already did, I guess. Zam. Are you declaring war on me? This is full on war. Okay, I'm gonna make even juicier lips than this guy. Rem Rem 555. What kind of name even is that? Okay, first we follow their tutorial to see if it's any good. But to be honest, I'm already sure that it's very bad. So first they draw a heart, then these tears, like the ones coming out of your eye once I roast you, and then this bean thing. Now, we're supposed to erase the heart and the bean. Okay, Mr. or Mrs. Teacher. Anyway, we lasso two of this baby bottom juicy lip upper juicy lip then this double chin shadow and now we change the color of the outline well this looks very crusty you're supposed to paint with a soft brush these little blobs and finally the highlight well look at that pathetic is it supposed to be juicy for you well now let's do my lip no one can ever surpass me when it comes to drawing lips all right if anyone dares to challenge me they will simply perish right done juicy what is this what the why are you yossifying he's already perfect okay so uh basically this guy is yossifying look at how cute his face is you did not have to do homie like that he's perfect the way he is okay so this is the finished result you know what i want to try yossifying him as well even though he's perfect the way he is okay let's look him up look at him he's so baby girl you don't need any fixing baby girl what the hell am i saying anyway so first we liquefy him now i'm I'm gonna remove that mustache. Okay, he is shaped like an egg. Like, he literally looks like a weak character. Anyway, let's yassify his skin and basically add the kawaii blushies. Okay, this is not looking good. Okay, let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, no. Why does he look like a registered sex offender? Okay, I'm gonna remove his bangs. Now he looks like Yasified Mikasa. Guys, I am losing hope. Okay, wait, the future is looking bright. Have faith in me. Trust the process. All right, we finished it. Let's see the final result. So this is the before. Ready, guys? Just a race. Y'all ready for the big reveal? And after. Smegs. Adding nonsensical rim light to make my character stand out against the background. It's like a reward. Oh, so that's what it does. Let's try it out. So I'm on Procreate this time. This is an old drawing. So I'm gonna draw the rim light, all right? Let's try it out. So I'm on Procreate this time. I swear, I'm confusing all of you guys. First, I use Ibis Paint, then Clip Studio, then Procreate. Like, Kooleen, what app do you really use? I use all of them. The truth is, I jump between those three apps, like what I do with my hose. Anyway, so I'm just gonna add rim light to the hair strands as well. So this is the before and after. Actually, it's really really cool it did make him stand out better okay since we're extra let's add another rim light this time a blue one on the right side all right not too shabby i like it picasso eight out of ten next what the hell is that 
Is that an emoji? Y'all, I swear, you guys keep finding the weirdest eye hacks ever. First, it was Among Us, and, and now it's this. Okay, I'm up for the challenge. Let's use that ugly blue TikTok emoji. Hmm, which one of these is the best? Ooh, it's Magsy. Let's use this. So we are simply going to shrink the eye. Okay, that's too big. Let's make it smaller. Now we copy and paste. Ooh, and it complements the red eyes. Blue and red? That's like Spider-Man. Man. Okay, I don't like how this looks, so I'm just gonna add details for a bit. So, this is what it looks like from afar. What do y'all think? I give it a 6. Next. This is the easiest way to tell the proportions of the face. So first, you're gonna take a line and split it in half, and split the half in half, and half of the half in half, and that's what I- So the fuck up! No one remembers that shit! No one uses that! Wait, wait, pause. She sounds like the girl from Ratatouille. The easiest way to remember where a bit of the face should go is to- Related to other bits. Instead of saying that the mouth should go at the weight of the hole, say it goes where the jawline bends. Nose goes where the ears start, and the eyes go where the ears end. None of that thermometer looking bull. That's for measuring temperature, bro. Okay, cool. Look at the caption. I didn't get into art to do fractions. Not gonna lie, I feel like this is throwing shade at me because I made a face tutorial and it was the half and half and half thing. But anyway, let's try it out. The easiest way to draw the face, she says, is to relate it to other bits. So, let's draw a face. So she says that the nose starts at the bottom of the ears. Yes. The mouth is where the jaw bends. Okay. And the eyes start at the top of the ears. Okay. Okay, well, this is looking a bit goofy. Let's yassify it real quick. Alright, now, this looks like an actual face. Let us check if what she says is actually accurate. So, this line is the whole face. Split it in half, and you get the eyes. Split the half in half, and you get the nose. And that half in half as well, and you get the mouth. Alright, pretty cool tip. 8 out of 10. Next. How I paint with my style. First, the base colors, add shadows, and blush. So you're also adding blush in the eyes. Interesting. Okay, so they added something on the hair. And now this dude is using an airbrush, I think, to make the hair blend in with the skin. Oh, okay, so now they're merging all the layers. Blur it and add shine. Ooh, very juicy. Let's try it out. So I'm just gonna draw a girl real quick, real fast. Alright. So right now, I'm just sketching, but very loosely. Now let's just fill in the... The colors okay picasso so first we add the blushies okay i'm gonna change the color and make her more yellowish because it fits with the style of the tiktok now we airbrush the skin color on the hair just fill the eyes real quick all right then we blur okay let's just make the eyes bigger then we're supposed to add the shine like this and lastly just render the rest of the face okay cool hmm interesting what do y'all think this is a pretty quirky art style i rate it 8 out of 10 by the way guys if you want to submit some tiktok hacks please do feel free to tag me on the tiktok videos i swear i look at my mentions tab just don't tag me on weird stuff okay anyway watch this video next and i'll see you there stay cool